Hello and welcome back to Jusson. Okay, I think we can go. Can try a different approach. more for help, but it's no use. This door won't budge. There's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work. Does it have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but you'd think he would have been able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to wait anchor. A date, he said. It's true he did seem rather dressed up thinking around. Rather perfumed, too. None of this answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold and I'm no further along than when I started. I still don't know how it could have been used for my lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but <laughs> that's pretty vague. Now, what am I supposed to do? Thank you. 
Up to two. Migration. Maybe time your companion will be able to see the next objective. And collectibles. I think I know what you mean.
Editorial. In this issue, we'll be taking a look at the creatures that gave this new cyclical publication its name, Brellas. While they've come up before in our issue on endangered tunnel wildlife in our special edition Inhabitants of the Great Reservoir, we've never dedicated an entire section to them. It's high time we rectified that. Brellas are best known for the slow and majestic flight. However, they begin their lives clinging to rocks. In this first stage of their life cycle, they resemble flowers known as shrinklets. From within the shrinklets come sparks, small glowing creatures that fly through the darkness of the caves and tunnels in groups. How many octaves does it 
take for a spark to grow into a brella? How long do brellas live? Has anyone ever seen one die? Much has been forgotten about brellas, despite them being witnesses to the tower's ancient past. At the time of writing, they've almost completely disappeared. We only know about sparks from children's stories. They are said to kidnap the children and the shrinklet. The sightings are exceptionally rare, only occurring in the remotest tunnels. In the following pages, we've attempted to piece together some facts about them. Did you know, based on the information we've gathered from the teams of water surveyors who sometimes encounter these creatures on their maintenance rounds, and who are very, we are very grateful to, uh, being near sparks make you feel weightless. So be sure to behave yourselves, kid. Let's hope that the drop in activity in recent cycles will give shrinklets, sparks, and brellas the peace, quiet, and space they need to thrive. Mm, let's go back down for a little while. There's so much more we need to see. Oh, the Ida, you have to talk to them. I want to go on an expedition to the desert too. Everyone always says I'm too young. I don't care. Neil's going and he's only a bit bigger than me. Plus, he's mean. I have to stay at the port gathering thing you would see with and doing my homework. I bet cleaning the canals with you would be more fun. I want to see what else is out there. But my parents never want to let me leave the village. Can you talk to them? Please? <laughs> oh, Dee. Believe me, sweetie, you wouldn't have much fun scraping the pipes of the Great Basin, that's for sure. You won't like what I'm, I'm about to say, but... Be patient. You have plenty of time to grow up. We will be sailing off to the plane soon enough. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, though, but we have no choice but to go with your parents. So best not to quarrel with them in the meantime. I don't fancy crossing the plain with the free scowling faces. Your favorite auntie. Moving sail, carabiners, fish hook sound shells to give away or swap for provisions. Repairs and mending, nets, harnesses, bubble stage, sand stage, any type of knitting. Ask for Enya. Lost, medallion, shiny and round. It's not valuable, but I'm sad it's gone. Reward, cake. Job wanted, housework and pebble sitting. Choco sitting and babysitting. Accepting all vertical work, renovating, decorating, drywalling. Volunteers wanted for expedition to the cloud. Seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves, Beck and Earl's farm, Highfield to join together. Bearer of heat stroke. Pebble shuttle service to Fum Fumarolia Oasis. Can break small bundles, little packages, no animals. Hmm? There's another one here. Dearest Matt, you probably laugh at what I'm about to say, but I wish I were a chuckle. Nothing to do but be around, fluffy and cute, the whole sleep long, no job, and no existential crisis about the future. 
it'd be more relaxing than going out, going door to door. But someone has to bring the old folks water. And I never would have believed it, but I've grown fond of them. Remember old Coco? She made me listen to, and that's off, her show collection. She's as deaf as a post, so someone should listen to them once in a while, she said. One of the shows almost crumbled to dust. They miss the ocean, just like we do. Are things any better with your family? Are they still upset? No, no need to tell me if it's too difficult to talk about. I may not be there to support you, but I'm sending waves your way. <laughs> that Coco. Still, I admire you. I definitely wouldn't have the patience. Things with my parents are still choppy. They let the ocean disappear, but they won't, don't want to understand what happened. We're not responsible, they will say. They've left for the cauldron's oasis. They was requested the furnaces so they could join some friends of theirs, but spots they are hard to come by. At least things have calmed down for me since they left. I feel as light as can be. Maybe I should go on a trip too.